Hi everyone, now we will see how to install and configure network devices by using hub, switch and routers. For that, here I am considering a hub firstly to connect the two computer devices. Then I am selecting two devices to connect to the hub. So to connect to the devices with the hub, I am selecting a straight through cable to connect the device with the hub. So click on the system, then choose the fast ethernet, then connect it to the hub. Do the same manner to the other device as well for connection. After that, I am giving a certain name to the hub. Here I am giving as hub network. So after giving a certain name to the hub, I am setting a IP address for both the systems what I have chosen. For the first device, here I am giving an IP address as 192.168.10.1 In the same manner, give an IP address for the second device as well by changing the last digit. Now click on the computer device, go to the desktop, click on IP configure, paste the IP address what you are willing to give to the assist device, then it will automatically choose the subnet mask, then close the device, then come to the second device, go to the desktop as well, do the same manner and change the IP address what you have given to the device. So after we are setting a certain IP addresses for both the devices, now we will see how the information will transfer from one to the other device. So at the bottom right you can see the status event in the real time. So now we will look how to connect the two devices by using a switch as well. two devices to the switch. For that here I am choosing a two devices. And now I will choose the switch. To connect in between the devices so for connecting we can use the straight through cable so firstly I am going to set a name for the switch as switch network and now I am naming the IP address for both the devices as well We need to look carefully about the IP addresses. It should not be same with the other one. So after that, now I am going to connect the switch with the devices by using a straight through cable as how we done for the hub network. After setting the cable for the devices with the switch, now I am going to uh, set the IP configuration for the devices. So for that click on the device, go to the desktop, click the IP configuration, paste the IP address, do the same as well for the second device. Now. We will check how the sender and receiver will work. We can see even the status as well. So now we will look how to connect the devices with the router. Firstly I am naming here as router network. So then I am going to choose a router and two devices. I am going to connect the router with the devices by using a cross through cable. So after connecting to the devices with the router, now you are going to set an IP address for the device.
and I am going to set IP address for the router. The IP address of the router want to be the gateway for the first device as well the other IP address should match to the gateway of the second device. So for that I am going to give the router and device as one IP address then the other IP address which will match with the other device. So after giving the IP addresses, now we are setting the IP address for the devices. So go to the con desktop, click on the IP configuration, give the IP address what we have set further. Then copy the IP address which we have given for the router and the IP as I said the IP address should be match with the gateway of the first device so near the default gateway i am going to give the ip address of the router and connecting with the device with the router so now click on the router go to config we are going to set here choose here first ethernet first device here the ip address what we have set for the router i am going to paste here so now the ip address other what we have chosen I am going to set for the first device one and enable the port status so when we are enabling the port status we can see we can see there the information can transmit from the router to the device so the router and device were been connected now again go to the router we are going to choose the first device then we are going to paste the IP address and we are enabling the port status now even we can see the second device also connected with the router so now click on the second device go to the desktop and ip config paste the default gateway means the ip address of the router and give the ip address for the second device so now go to the router and uh, go to the static option now i am configuring default route here so when router doesn't find the destination ip in its network it forwards it to the next hop that is in the case of the second device So once it done, now we can check the status by connecting the two devices. So uh, we'll do check once. We need to go to the router and we need to check whether the static has been added or not. So once it has been added, again we will check by sending the information from one device to other device. Now we can see the status here as successful. Thank you.